Welcome to my channel and in this video I will show you how you can make this dark silhouette type of art inside Blender using some simple tweaks. So in my channel I try to show you awesome tutorials on Blender, Photoshop, After Effects. So without further ado, let's begin. So here we are inside Blender and inside Blender just press general and delete all the basic cube, lighting, camera and pretty much that's it and let's improve the terrain model that I had. Uh, I'm not gonna make a new plane because I had this template terrain model. So let's import our terrain model and wait for a little bit moment because of the pixel density it will take some time to load and right now the position is not onto the correct axis. So press Z and Z again to bring it down to the Z axis and after doing that let's scale it down a little bit so it will fit furthermore into the landscape. So here we are we have our landscape but right now the landscape is not aligned with the proper axis so let's zoom out and bring it up a little bit on the Z axis. So there you go uh, it's, it looks very much well finished but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bring a texture to it so let's just go to the shading and inside the shading select it to the pre-rendered and click on the principle and then press ctrl shift t to bring out your textures so I have my textures and uh, wait for a little bit moment to take the time for the texture to load and the texture is pretty much loaded and we are pretty much done with our landscape we uh, this landscape it, it looks good good to go and with some lighting setup it will look much more better so so inside blender again import another model that I am gonna use in here as an example for a statue so I've downloaded this model from sketchfab.com sketchfab is a great website where you can find many many free 3d models that you can do many experiments like I'm doing right now on this art so import your model and uh, scale it down a little bit because when you import the default model it will look like a dinosaur so basically just scale it down a little bit and uh, make the axis to align on the correct one so let's scale it down and let's bring it bring her up to the s axis a little bit so press z and press z again to bring it up to the upper world and uh, rotate your camera camera viewport to see that how she blends well into the scene it's pretty much your own choice but I would say that uh, there are performing actions that I'm doing right now on the screen that's there that, that is that seems like a very much suitable one but it's your creative choice I think that uh, any kind of angle looks good at my, as, as soon as uh, it's perfectly executed so let's align our model right here and it looks good zoom into the shoe side to see that if the model is a little bit upward from the scene so in my model I am just uh, having it down a little bit on the z axis to play in the ground so let's go to the shading to give the model some texture select the textures from the directory that you have I'm gonna give the model a little bit of uh, uh, green grainy kind of a uh, stony texture so yeah the model is pretty much loaded uh, give it some time this time I, I pressed the wrong one so press ctrl shift T again and select the models it will take some time to load but here, here we are the model is pretty much loaded right now so we are right now inside the shading option so where the pre-built SDRI will show you the um, lighting setup but you're gonna have to do the lighting setup by yourself so uh, increase the roughness on the model so the model looks much more like a, a rough statue sort of like that so we are now in the pre-rendered mode and we're gonna have to add uh, light to enlight the scene so add a point light and increase the power so it will pop up the color so change the color to something that you like but in this scenario since we're going to make a dark silhouette art I think a red tint would work much more well so make the camera to the light to your viewport position and uh, in this case I want the light in front of a leg 
so press Z and uh, press X to bring the camera uh, the light much more upward and then again uh, go to the layout option and render it to see how it looks it looks pretty much well but we can do a lot more better so let's just grab the light and have it below her leg but right now the the light is not aligned well so we're gonna have to do a much more little bit adjustment so just have the light by our leg and it's pretty much done so right now we have our uh, lighting setup ready ready to go but we are gonna have to do one more light and that is having some light aligned on her back so it would look much more dramatic purpose for that so let's just go to the light and bring a spotlight and um, spotlight area light anything is fine but area light works great in this one I increase the power something like 10,000 works pretty well uh, but it's uh, too much but right now I, I'm just gonna have this increasement just to see that how it works so I am gonna align the light in the top of our top of our head so nothing but our head will have the light pop so the ground will be dark so align the light in front of her head and decrease the power to something like 100 100 works fine um, thousand let's uh, let's add it to thousand thousand works good because if you do much more darker it will not look good so we're gonna have to do a uh, sky texture because right now we are pretty much done with the landscape but without the sky it will look much more weird so let's go to the environment setting to have a sky but uh, for this you can do uh, pretty much um, some basic simple tweaks like adding a plain image texture but I prefer to do uh, going to the environment textures uh, adding a sky texture so go to the shading and change the viewport to world settings inside the world uh, search for sky texture and uh, add a sky texture node to the background and uh, Connect the color to the color of the background. Now we are pretty much done with our sky of the landscape, but it's it's too much bright, right? And uh, this sky texture right now is not working pretty well because we are now inside the EB render engine, and this Nishita uh, sky texture it works well with uh, only cycles. So turn the engine to cycles and change the sounds attitude air dust ocean to your likings but i would suggest to select something dark because uh, we are going for a darker narrative in this case of scenario so a darker scenario works pretty well uh, for me in this scenario too but uh i i want to experiment with other sky textures too something like freedom and as you can see inside freedom them with the turbulency to something in lower to 1.2 1.3 works pretty well 1.3 is pretty fine so right now uh, we are pretty much done with uh, our modeling so let's go to the uh, layout option and see the viewport option to see that how the light or how the scene alignment is looking up so it's looking pretty nice um, sort of like a you know like a dark silhouette scene um, like one of the scene that you will see on the Pinterest to pop up but um, there, there, there there's many very variation you can do for example with the light or uh, basically with anything and uh, right now uh, what we're gonna do is we have to make a camera so inside the camera we can just uh, you know uh, change the viewport to see our final shot but before that you can also do a simple experiment also with the uh, turbulency of the sky texture to see how it's uh, working well or not um, I think that the previous setting that uh, we did it works pretty much fine with it and um, just do the ground abide um, anything like uh, experiment with your own on your own um, sometimes it works fine sometimes it doesn't work great but 
it um, freedom like the preset freedom it works pretty much fine and right now in before we had much more darker scene right but now we have much more darker and my friend we have a much more dramatic scene which can which can already looking like a nice one right so let's increase our light the light we had placed in front of the model so have the light a little bit upward and there you go it looks pretty much nice and it's it's honestly it's looking better better right so let's go to layout and there you go we are pretty much done with our modeling and uh, composition wise it's it's also it's looking fine so let's add a camera press shift a to choose the camera and uh, press shift alter num page zero to have the camera to your viewport and um, just uh, have the resolution by uh, your desired settings but I would like to go for something like a square shape because in that, in that case that you can you know post your final art render to Instagram without having to crop it or anything like that so right now the render is pretty much done and without any kind of composition settings or anything like that we are done but before exporting the renders in cycles make sure to decrease the samples to 32 because we don't have uh, to do 4k 8k for a simple rendering in this case so let's render image and see the result and uh, within a second the machine will um, bring up the result and as you can see it's taking its time to um, sample out our example for this and there you go it it's already looking pretty much nice so this is how you can make this dark silhouette earth so I hope this video helped um, there there was much more great techniques in here to learn so uh, I'm coming up with much more to many more tutorials stay tuned and uh, I hope to see you on to the next one have a nice day